So at the at PA, at the platform of people affected by mortgages, what we do is we we fight for the right to housing, to access to a decent house. Uh, in Spain, the the mortgage situation and the housing situation is is a completely a, a huge uh, emergency crisis. We have. Uh, we have had that since 2007 more than 2 million people that has been evicted from their homes. We have had uh, around 500,000 uh, for uh, evictions. And, and the situation mainly, what we are trying to do at PAI is one, in one thing, change the paradigm of uh, considering house a commodity, which is like the Spanish government have treated uh, housing since the, since the 1950s and to start treating it as a, a human right and as, as, as we have a public education and we have public health, we should also have a public housing and everybody should be guaranteed a, an access to the house. So in Spain, the situation with the mortgage is uh, during, during many years, the government and the public opinion and the media, they always were telling you that buying is the safest uh, investment. They were telling you that in order to become a successful person, you should own your own house. They were telling you that if you rent a house, you are kind of a loser. This is you are a precarious person. So at the peak of the housing bubble in Spain, 91% of the population was living in a in a in a house in a in a in their own property house. So there was no rental market, and the public housing is only one percent. So there has been since, since the 50s a whole bunch of laws in order to, to promote uh, the, the construction and in order to promote the people to buy those houses. So you had tax breaks, you had uh, very easy access to the credit. <clears throat> they changed the rent and the rent law, so renting will be really, really hard. The, the lease contracts is only three years now, before it was five. And so they have created all these this uh, situation to push people to, to buy. So obviously a lot of people bought because uh, in Spain at one point we were really, our, our economy was booming, was very concentrated on the, on the housing market and a lot of, most of the people had a job and they bought a house. When the crisis started they lost their home, and they lost their job, they could not pay their mortgage and then they, they had to be, they, they had problems paying the mortgage and then when, that's when all the evictions started. So from the platform in the Spanish, the, the Spanish law, what it does is that if you cannot pay your mortgage, you have to, the bank takes your house, but you still own the bank around 40% of your initial debt. So that means that you lose your house and you have a debt that is going to follow you for the rest of your life because it never expires. So if you find a job, then you have to, they will take the money directly from your bank account to pay to the bank for the, for the mortgage. So you are sending people to exclusion, you are sending people to, to work in the black market, and obviously that was a situation when, when PAI started.